so, so I, I think that's why our our genres that we love uh, in, in indie lit, uh, the horror and bizarro fiction genres, fell, fell victim so quickly to the culture wars because you can't you can't say Kevin Strange is a shitty writer unless you read all of Kevin Strange's books. And people who hate me are not going to read my books to know whether or not I'm a, I'm a good writer or not. I've been nominated for awards. Was I nominated for those awards because I wrote good books? Or was I nominated for those awards because I was popular that year as a person on social media? Because I think I was pop I think I was nominated for those books because I was popular in the bizarro fiction community on social media. They happened to like me that year. They happened to think and I and I owned a publishing house. I was influential. I was uh, considered by many to be one of those gatekeepers. And I think that's the reason I got nominated for my books, not because of the merit of the books, because it's so hard to agree on merit when in fiction. It's 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 such a nebulous art form. Do you agree with that? I agree with that, but I also think that um, a reason you see this kind of subjectivity gatekeeping going on is because a lot of the people who are wanting to like, who would want to enter into a system wherein people are talking about, you know, ranking things and creating kind of a social hierarchy based on their art are kind of weak to begin with. So, I mean, I, I just think the whole, I, I think it's all for very human reason i mean human flaw type reasons yeah that's a good observation I, I think that you're right about that and it's a it's a notion that i've 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 aired you you may have i don't know how long you followed me on social media but i used to be very vocal with my frustration and i it was mm -hmm. difficult for me to communicate exactly what i was feeling a lot of the time especially in the early years 2015 2016 it was so hard for me to vocalize and really communicate what my frustrations were but it was it, it, a lot of it had to do with just how just how horribly weak the men in the writing communities were and how quickly they were to capitulate to women just because they were women they and how quickly they can become vindictive. I mean, just completely vindictive, like women. Like it was there, there. There's so many men. I would say the majority, almost every, almost every single man I met uh, online and in person that was involved in fiction was so firmly in their feminine, so firmly um, gossipy, and like you said, vindictive, and just acting like that uh, that mean girls table um, in the in the. Uh, cafeteria in middle school and high school where it's like these are men we should be able to solve our problems through uh direct communication or fists if it comes down to it if we're really passionate about uh, disagreeing with what we with, with these topics and i would find that these men these men, grown men men in their 20s 30s 40s 50s were screenshotting private messages and taking things out of context and 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 creating these dog pile um like i said like the, basically all the men in in horror and bizarro fiction um act like groups of girls in, in the way school. girls the way girls treat each other in middle school and high school the the hierarchy of of women uh the, the hierarchy of the feminine is far different than the hierarchy of the masculine. The masculine in high school and, and middle school is, is usually controlled by the, the, the toughest individual or the individual who can socially surround himself with the toughest individuals. So that, that particular leader, that alpha male, may not be able to best you in combat, but his bodyguard can, basically. The guy he's always walking around with is going to make sure you can't beat him up. And that is sort of the hierarchy of males. As males, we, we create our friendships. We test our, we test our boundaries by um, – we kind of – the way males uh, test each other is to, to look for weakness. And we sort of kid each other and joke each other about things that we are uh, – shortcomings and flaws that we have. I'm kind of short and fat. So my friends, you know, when I first meet men, they would want to comment about my weight or comment about my height. And if I didn't show strength in not caring about my, not, not seeing my weight or my height as a, as a detriment, I, you know, I didn't get my feelings hurt. Just start, uh, you know, getting defensive and being like, oh, you guys can't fat shame me. That's a feminine thing to do. And uh, the, the, the masculine thing to do is be like, yeah, well, my dick's probably bigger than yours. You know, I almost, I almost said a word that uh, would, would get our, uh, our show here flagged on that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I get what you mean. That's kind of like, cause I'm completely not, you know, 
anywhere near at all tough or anything. It's that kind of just not caring. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. doing whatever. And yeah, the mass like the, taking some kind of chance where you've got to whine about it on social media. I mean, it, it's just embarrassing. Yeah, the, to see it a lot. It is embarrassing, but they don't see it as embarrassing. Uh, mostly because it because gives them social brownie points. I mean, it's, it gives them brownie points with the women, the women that control the high, the 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 the, uh, the um, matriarchy uh, uh, approves of men sharing their feelings in a feminine way. And uh, and there's you know there's people that'll listen to this and call me a misogynist pig or whatever and that's fine but i think that b because you know we do live in an age where the where the female masculine is praised above all else and uh, and the male feminine is is pushed on us but uh i will it's always very I will, level standard <laughs> it is I, I will always defend the idea that a male in his strong masculine frame will always be happier and more content than a man in his feminine frame, and a woman will always be happier and more content in her feminine frame than she is in her masculine frame. Are women as capable to do anything a man can do? Absolutely, but I don't think that they find the same fulfillment uh, by being masculine as a man finds being masculine. And I don't think men find the same fulfillment being feminine that they do than they do being masculine, which is why you see so much unhappiness, drug drug abuse, and suicide in Western culture right now. I think it's a direct result of men trying to find their way through life in the feminine imperative, and women trying to find their way through life in the masculine imperative. I and think, there's um, oh, sorry. You no, mean, no, go ahead. I just I rambled, think, dude. Now I think what you're saying definitely has uh, some truth to it in some cases. I would argue. I'm not saying that what you said is wrong. I'm saying that I believe this problem that you're describing comes from uh, generally everyone having to enter society and, you know, attain some kind of social prominence. I think that directly contributes to it. And that's why you see it so much in fiction. People want to be kind of like, as you said, in that kind of uh, the mean girls table or whatever, but it's like, okay, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to have to get on Twitter, you know, um, uh, go after people's political views and, um, you know, just kind of contribute to the um, hierarchy that's constantly building itself. Yeah. I think that social media in general is a feminine, uh, exists in a feminine framework because it's, it's a communication through words. Men communicate through action and women communicate through words and verbal, ver uh, verbal hier hierarchy. And the, the, the whole concept of uh, popularity through, communication mm -hmm. is a feminine thing and so posting on so posting a selfie on social media and getting a lot of likes for it and looking popular is extremely feminine that's not a, a, a man a man gains respect from his male friends through action a man gains uh, respect and admiration from other males by completing tasks that seem uh, above and beyond his ability and the ability of the men who admire him and they tend to want they tend uh, uh, men tend to gravitate towards strong men that can achieve uh, that can achieve things in the in the physical realm that um, that seem uh, seem out of reach whereas women want to be popular socially and we and social media is is inherently feminine in that in that respect so the men who want to be writers um i don't think i don't think fiction i refuse to believe that fiction maybe i'm wrong but i refuse to believe that fiction itself is feminine i don't believe that writing because i think that men i think men created writing fiction for women the thing is we write Men write mostly, and I don't know how you feel about this, but when I write fiction, the difference between comic books, movies, and fiction for me, when I write fiction, I almost always um, picture my ideal audience for fiction as female, whereas I consider my 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 audience for fic uh, for uh, comic books and movies to be more male oriented, and I do that because women. Uh, th throughout the years have really responded favorably, especially to my uh, graphically sexual uh, content. The books that I write that just go absolutely hardcore with the sexuality and, uh, and sensuality, women respond to those books extremely well because for, for women, pornography isn't visual based. They don't care what they don't care about visual pornography. They care about mood and setting through uh, through words. 
And uh, so I've always pictured my ideal audience as female, but I think that men, men can write, look, look at music, you know, men write poetry and then perform it as music. And then they, they gain these huge female fan bases through, through the, even, even rappers, the worst rappers today have bigger female fan bases than they have male fan bases. Why? Because they're writing poetry for women. I, be, I believe that, that it, it's not, feminine to write but our biggest audience as writers are women does that make sense that makes sense and to an extent i agree honestly can't say i've uh, thought about it in those terms before like actually sit down like is this book gonna appeal to women or i mean i've just honestly that never really crossed my mind but uh, i definitely see truth in what you're saying 